Hey, so today I wanted to talk about the difference between linear growth models and exponential growth models. And the reason this is important is because those who understand this difference oftentimes use this to their advantage and to the disadvantage of those who don't understand this. So when you're thinking about a linear growth model, one of the things that you'll notice in the word linear is you have the word line. So linear growth happens in a straight line. It happens in a constant, predictable way. So for example, if you started off today with one person and you wanted to grow in a linear way, tomorrow you're gonna have two people. The third day, three people. Four on the fourth day. Five people on the fifth day. Six on the sixth day. And by the end of the week, you're gonna have seven people. The thing that was constant about this growth is you added one person each day. That was predictable and it was constant and it functions in a straight line. So if you wanted to draw a linear growth model, it looks just like this. A straight line. Now the difference between that and the exponential growth model is you notice in the word exponential is you have the word exponent. So in mathematics, if you look at this, that is the exponent. What, inf what it informs you to do is to multiply or to double the number you have at the base. So if you wanted to do an exponential growth model, if you started off with one person today and you doubled it, tomorrow you're going to have two people. If you double that, you're going to have four people. Double that on the fourth day, eight people. The fifth day, if you double that, 16. Sixth day, 32 people. And then by the end of the week, you got 64 people. That is what an exponential growth model looks like. It's not a straight line. It's not as constant, and nor is it as predictable. So if you wanted to draw that, it looks like this. One thing to understand is when you look at nature, nature grows exponentially. Nature doesn't grow in a linear way. You look at human beings, ourselves constantly multiply for us to actually be what we ultimately become. And that is an exponential growth model. If you look at animals, if you look at plant life, it grows exponentially. It does not grow incrementally in a straight line. That is what happens in nature. There are people who operate institutions or they're in control of resources or they dominate economies who understand exponential growth models but yet they subject the majority of the population to a linear growth model. Take for example a company, right? If you look at the salary of the CEO 10 years ago in comparison to the salary of the CEO today, their salary didn't grow each year, they got a quarter raise each year. The workers do. The workers, they get raises that are constant and predictable in a straight line like that. But the CEO, their salary looks like this. Exponential growth. The exact same way in the technological world. One of the things that was realized back in the 60s is that technology in terms of computing power doubles or it grows exponentially every two years. So if you look at cordless phones in 1995, look at the difference in cordless phones in that era in comparison to smartphones in just 2010. Do you see the difference in growth? That technology or computing power didn't happen incrementally each year. It grew like this. So the people who are in control of that technology even though to the average everyday onlooker, it looks exponential, technology is actually put out each year incrementally and in a straight line because the people who control the technology controls it in an exponential way. It's the exact same thing when you look at the education system. You may have a child that's in the third grade that reads on a seventh grade level. Usually, 
that child isn't taken out of the third grade and skipped some grades because they need to grow exponentially. That child is usually said, told, you know, help out the other students. They're usually regulated or they remain in that grade. Oftentimes they're not getting any kind of extra supplemental education or support in terms of their reading level. Sometimes those children are just stuck in that grade and they graduate and move on to the next grade the next year. Linear growth. But yet when you look at real education, coming from the root word of ducere, which means to draw out, a person that is really being educated does not grow in a linear way. And that is a thing that knowledge itself takes into consideration. In terms of our growth and development, it's more in an exponential way because a person is encouraged to constantly assess where they were last year in order to get a good assessment of where they are today to properly prepare and plan for a future. That is an exponential growth model. A person is not regulated to, okay, this is all you're going to get this year, and then once you pass this grade, you're going to get this next year. No. A person that is gaining knowledge itself, it's a self-paced study. So where you were based upon your sincerity, your commitment, and your studiousness is going to reflect how much you grow that day or that month or that year. And that is more reflective of what's natural for an exponential growth model. Because it is self-paced, there's not nobody over you telling you that you can only grow in this particular incremental constant way. It's all on you. So what's important to understand is you oftentimes have people who are in positions of power who not only function according to an exponential growth model, but then they feed people linear growth models and regulate their growth and development to keep them controlled in order to utilize their work for their own enrichment. So the same thing when you learn about financial planning, about how people oftentimes tell you, you're not going to create wealth just working for somebody. Why? Because you're subjected to a linear growth model. You create wealth not just by saving, but creating multiple streams of income, which is more reflective of an exponential growth model, and residual income, which is more reflective of an exponential growth model. So those who you see who have created wealth, they didn't create wealth this way. They created wealth that way. Not only physically, but you see people creating wealth when it comes to health this way. You see people creating wealth when it comes to relationships, when it comes to any other domain that they find themselves involved in because they're utilizing an exponential growth model, not something that's linear or regulated. That's oftentimes also very predictable. So I will, this was inspiring, it was empowering, it was educational, gave those of you some insight into the difference between linear and exponential growth models. And also, to take a second look at some of the things we may find ourselves involved in when it comes to engaging in certain relationships with people as well as certain type of activities. Is it helping us grow and develop exponentially? Or do we feel like this, as if we're not even really growing? Nine times out of 10, you will recognize that you are growing in this particular way. And because it's predictable, those who may be helping regulate your growth and development also know this and they know where you're going to be 75 years, 75 days down the line because it's constant and incremental. This is not as predictable. <laughs> Peace.